Oh, look at that. Ooh, pirates, what's going on today? It is me, your host, Storage Auction Pirate. Today, we are gonna do some unboxing. Well, I did the unboxing. It's just a little intro. You can tell I have a different shirt on and you're gonna see that I was filming this the other day, but I needed an intro. So, we are gonna unbox a huge collection of shoes. Some decent, some okay, and some like. So, don't forget to like this video, like this, big thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video. Next time you go down to the shoe store and you're buying your Jordans or your Michael Kors and the shoe salesman, Al Bundy's right there and he's trying the shoe on for you. Be like, hey Al, please, I want you to check this out because you like shoes. Go to the store at Auction Pirates page and watch this video. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Anyway, that's sharing the love. And if you could in the comment section, say something pretty like, I love this type of shoe. Tell me what your favorite type of shoe is you like to wear on a regular basis. Now, on with the show. About I'm about to unbox right here. All these things right here. I'm pretty sure they're all shoes. The boxes said shoes. There's shoes inside of there. We're about to see if we got any really pricey shoes. Not only do we have Uncle Michael over there, he's playing housekeeper, cleaning up things. We have a visit from Scott. Scott uh, has a day off today. He wanted to come say hello. Hi, everybody. Scott, how you doing? I, I'm alive. Yeah? I'm good. That's, that's a positive voice, right? I'm how are you enjoying making videos on YouTube, Scott? So far, so good. I yeah. did my, my first one all on my own the other day. No help from Mr. Mikey over here. All on his own. Look at that. Baby steps. It wasn't very good, but at least I made it. Who's to say what's good? Touche. Fact is, you're doing it, and you're making something for people to be entertained by. And hopefully, you guys will go subscribe to his channel. This is Storage Scott. I will put the link below in this video. You go subscribe, check it out, and tell him the Storage Auction Pirate sent you to his channel. <laughs> that has to be illegal for you. Look at that. That's dynamite. Uncle Michael carries dynamite. Don't do that. It's gonna go up hella fast. Open your hand. Ugh. Look at all the stuff you carry. You got barbecue sauce. You that got some go salt. That can go in the garbage. Remember Uncle D used to eat salt pack. Look at that. You got a rusty. Some of the, that's how long some of this has been. Look, there's a rusted lighter, Uncle Michael. Cash found in lunchbox. I bought an abandoned storage unit. Yeah, this got my money. I got a garbage can where you want to throw some away. I can't. Look at that. That's why you get sick all the time. Just, look, I haven't he, been down here he's <laughs> Only Uncle Michael bacon is going to carry bacon-flavored toothpicks. I've seen it all. Oh, look at that. You know this man loves food when you carry bacon-flavored toothpicks. That is just a gross Uncle Michael. What is down there? I would throw every damn thing down there away. Look at that, Scott. Oh, my Lord. That's not a lunchbox, that's a toolbox. You're gonna need this at the end, some hand sanitizer. You gotta sanitize your hands. It reminds me of a box you find in a storage unit, you know what I mean? Like it's been sitting there for a while, you open it up and you tell nobody, don't ever open up that no, again. No, no shower now. It's free. This is the world's worst unboxing right here. I always need some bits. Yeah, they're covered in bacon sauce. Is that bacon grease in there, Uncle Mike? That's all I'm moist in there? We need to get a new one, that's for sure. Can you just throw that one away? Just throw it no, away. I'm keeping all the stuff. So let's see what kind of shoes we have here. We have guess. Guess how much those are. Size 7, $34.99 in the store. Not bad. I thought these were cute. Exhilaration. Kind of like Dorothy. Y'all yeah, know I love Wizard of Oz. Always, always. Remind me of those shoes for some reason. Kind of cute. What do we have here? True religions. We got them trues. True. That's a nice pair. What do we got here? Those don't look real. Louis Vuitton. I don't think Louis Vuitton would come up like that. Oh well, that would have been nice. And some Gucci's. Gucci's are not doing that. Those are Fuchis. Kenneth Cole. It's a decent brand. Some money was spent on these shoes nonetheless. Zoom, these are shoes. You open it up, it says shoes on top. You know, you got some flip flops. If you like your Kronos, I prefer Modelo's. Flip flops, those are kind of making a comeback, or do they ever leave? Right there, hot brand, Tommy Hilfinger. Then we get into what looks like some good shoes. What do we got here? Kohan, Coach. Coach is a good brand. 
American Eagle. Those are still pretty decent though, actually. American Eagle's a good brand. You guys might know the Salt Princess has been making sure she saves all sorts of American Eagle clothing lately. Banana Republic. Okay, so we're not having the right boxes here because that's not Banana Republic. That's not a, exactly a bad shoe. We got um, Ann Klein. Those are cute. Oh no, there's a coach. Look at those. Look at that. Size 7. That's a cute shoe. We'll set some cute shoes aside. We'll take out not the cutest shoes this week. We don't want to overload of shoes. DKNY, those are all right. The only thing that we looks like it's gonna be, ooh, we got more coach coming, I think. I see a coach box. Let's go for the coach box. Let's see what's in here. Those are coachy. Yep, yeah. coach loafer style. That's kind of cool with the pin on the top. That was probably an extra accessory, but I found a, a pin somewhere that was purchased extra for like 30 bucks Calvin Klein come on that's a good brand no well, those are cute those are big all right that's a box now, it's been real easy to determine what to keep and set aside to open it in a certain manner because it says shoes. So, like, what I did is, as you can see, all these boxes, they never had a box they were in. They were just in the shoe box in the unit. And then the, the stuff is pretty well marked, shoes. So, I've been setting stuff aside to kind of open it in that manner so we can see just shoes, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm hoping maybe I'll get lucky and one might have jewelry or something because you know what's weird? Not one box had jewelry. You know, I like gold. I'm a pirate. I always want to find jewelry. Not one box has had any jewelry written on it so i haven't been able to see that box but i'm opening this first granted you've seen the boxes that have coin collection you've seen the boxes that say purse i don't know anything about mia but those look very fashionable right there i think the kid's grandma needed a pair of shoes and she had a size seven we will set that aside for her because she likes those styles what is that guess guess if those are cute or not Mark Fisher. I think Mark Fisher's a good brand. Ooh, those are in there. Look at that. Look at that one, ladies. And gentlemen, don't let me, let me count out the gentlemen. There are many gentlemen that like high heels, so I don't want to leave anybody out. Guess, those are cute. They're not very pricey. We're looking for something. I'm looking for something just like, okay. All right. Bandolino. Now you're thinking to yourself, you're gonna, there, I know some people are going to be like, there's a whole bunch of money in there. And some people are going to be like, it's going to be hard to sell those shoes. I see a lot of 5 and $10 sales, to be honest with you. Those look nice, but they're all coming apart. I see a lot of 5 and $10 sales, and some of them I'm going to be lucky to sell. I mean, they're giving away for a dollar in stock. There. Look at that. Cowboy boots. Somebody's going to want these tomorrow. Somebody's going to need some new working boots. I should give those to Uncle Michael, you know, the hardest working man in America. Her berry. Was it in there? A little late. Hoo hoo. That is nice. That is a shoe right there that costs a little bit of money in the store. Don't ask me what. But that is a nice shoe. That is actually cute. Can you imagine that? Oh, like that. And then you lace this up on your ankles, ladies. That is very attractive and cute. Very much so. It comes with a bag. Look at this. It says, hey, I'm Burberry. And you bought me. Ooh, it's got a card right here. Hold on a second. An authentication card. I don't know what this costs, but... Oh, and we have a note. I strive for five-star ratings. was sold on eBay. This right here is money. Ooh, that's what it says on the price right there. $285. That's going on eBay right there. Not sure if I showed these already, but we'll do a quick glance here. These are Ralph Lauren. It's a very hot brand right now. Yes, they're kids. Not sure if I showed these or not, so we're just doing another quick run through of them. Those are cute right there. You know that those are my size. It makes me want to have another child and be like, here, child, I got you some cute shoes. Skechers. 
that traditional look. I remember I used to wear those when I worked at Taco Bell. I used to, as made like when I was 18, I worked at Taco Bell, Subway, and Burger King all on the same day. I had three jobs. I had three jobs, man. Okay, we're not getting into very fancy looking shoes here, very high prices. Like I said, we're looking at a lot of $10 bills. Five and $10 bills. Sometimes it might slip into 15. That's what we do. We'll try like, like say for instance, we'll try for 15 on this. These look brand new. Nope, they don't. I would try like 15 on that, maybe 12, and take anything 8 to 10. That's my strategy. What do we got here? The Timberlands. Timeless classic right here. Those are there's a bug in there. I think it almost bit me. You guys see that? I almost, it almost killed me. See that right there? See this bug? Come on. See it? You see it right there? That thing almost killed me. Jesus. Whew. Let's just close these back up and get away from the deadly bugs. Oh my God. Here we have picture frames. Gloves and boots, obviously, you're gonna see boots, we're gonna think shoes. That's the automatic presumption. You know when a person has their units like this, look at that. Look at that. Look at those gloves, you see those gloves? Those are nice gloves. Let's scoot this over here. I love that people just pack all their stuff all nice and pretty. I love that. Look at that, Kenneth Cole. Size seven and a half. Those are kind of cute. What do you think, ladies? Would you rock that? Put a uh, put a 53 if you like that, and put a uh, 47 if you like. Hell no. Ten Cole. That's a good brand. Enzo Angelatino. What do we got? Look at this box. That's ridiculous. Those are not too cute. Look at that. Oh yeah, they wore those ones a few times. Nope. Look at this. Ooh. -hoo. Dear Kemma, thank you for your... Look at that one, ladies and gentlemen. Those are like the brown version of the black ones I just asked if you liked. Same thing. 53 if you like, 47 if you don't. I don't know what... I think these have got to be at least 100 bucks in the store. They're kind of cold, so they got to be somewhat pricey. That's a hot brand right there. You anybody ever see anybody wearing Michael Kors? It's a hot brand right now. Hoo hoo! Look at that. That is that is hecka cute. I'm coughing. That's how cute that is. My dang child has me saying "cute" on everything. Those are like brand new. Those are that's cute. Imagine those with some thigh high, like uh, some yoga pants and like a sweater. That'd be a good outfit. Or even a casual tank top, maybe. I don't know. Depends on where you're at and where you're going. That's some money right there. I don't have no idea. Then we have some random loose filler in there. Hagen Dawes. Hagen Dawes. Ooh, a mask. That's cool. Let's try that on. Look, I'm that guy from the G.I. Joe's. Snake eyes. No, that's not it. I don't know. This sucks. Must be a small head. Oh my god. Carrying on another pile of shoes here. We got them Denali's. Look at those work boots. Those are kind of cool when you go hiking. Nice. We got a pair of Nikes. Ooh, I like these. I like these. I like these. I like these. Those are almost cool enough for me to wear. If those are my size, you would see me trying to rock these right here. Like, I, I tell me you wouldn't see me in these. That is, what, what is the price on these probably? Who knows, size 7.5. Hoping they had a little price tag on the bottom. We got them Timberlands. Can we see them? Can we see them, Mike? Mike, you gonna let us see them? There we go. We got them Timberlands right here. Now that right there is a $30 boot. I can tell you right now, I can go to the flea market, I'm gonna get $30 for this boot right there, just like that. It gives the ambiance that it was brand new. You know, I think that's $30 right there. Ooh. 
Look at those. Those are sexy. Those are beyond cute. Those are sexy. Salvatore Ferragamos. Wow. I like those. We have a second pair? We have another one? This the other one. Wrapped up all nice. Look at that. That's probably a good shoe on eBay. That one I'll set aside for eBay. Looks to be in good shape. It hasn't even been worn, really. Emo Ridge. I think I might try to wrap these right here. They're wanting a pair of nice slippers. They don't look very comfy, though. See how they're flat on the bottom? That's going to hurt my back. No arches, really. Emu. Ridge, Australia. They were $49.99 at Big Five. Shout out to Big Five. Always landing them deals. Vans. That's another $20 bill right there. See the $20 bills just add up? See how they just add up? This unit is pretty much like everything has been good stuff. Those are nice right there. Those are want to be Uggs. I'm going to put my hand in there. Could have been a rat living in there. Remember this unit was infested with rats. $69.99 on sale for $30. So what we have to do is take that off. Those are size 11. I could rock those if I wanted to be part of that club. Gemma's Shoes. Ooh. Look at that. Pradas. Got them Pradas right there. They've been heavily used. Probably wouldn't want to sell those on eBay. Burberry. Burberry stands for a little bit of money. I couldn't think of anything that rhymed. Size 37 and a half. Probably in this traditional seven size. Ooh, what do we got here? Please be coach. Please be coach. Coach has been the word of the day. Coach has been the word of the day. Look at those. Those are kind of cute too. Oh my. They got tag things in here. I don't know what's on the shoe though. Look at that. There's something on the shoe. We'll put the Burberry aside because those are probably worth eBay. Baby fat. Nice. That was a cute. Coach. Heavily worn. No, not heavily. They're wood. That's a cute shoe, too. Open to. I like open toed shoes. A little something, something. A little, little insight to the storage off from Pirate. He likes a girl who wears open toed shoes. Not so big of a fan of flip flops. Flip flops are. Uh, bad memories of flip-flops east spirits eight bucks right there i know somewhere in the comments not the the nice comments where it's like pirate i love you and keep making great videos and we appreciate your humor and all the work you do there's a coach shoe there's gonna be someone who's gonna be like i don't want to watch stupid shoes can't you make uh, better unboxing videos i'm sorry that's what i got to unbox today is shoes treasure is treasure that is not that good of a coach. I don't like the staining on that. That will just end up at the flea market tomorrow. See, I'm separating some for the flea market and some for the eBay. Ooh, ooh, look at those. That is cute. That is cute too, see? I like that. We'll put that in the better pile for better days. Hey, baby. Just throwing things around here. Those look like brand new. Those are, not, those are all right. Uh, if you like those, comment. 78. I don't think we use 78 ever. Bebe is a decent brand. Ann Taylor is kind of low end. So cute. That is a cute shoe. Take that to the flea market tomorrow. Nine West. Very inexpensive. Very heavily worn. Pairs that it looks like is going to be Uggs because they're in the Ugg bags. That's slightly worn. Uggs are hot. That's probably like forty dollars at flea market. Believe it or not, these shoes sell like nobody's business. I mean, you probably do believe it. We got some certifications here, and we got a pair. Uggs are expensive. I remember I once bought my—I um, don't know what you would call her, my ex's daughter. I guess I wouldn't say stepdaughter, but my ex's daughter. 
She, uh, I bought her a pair. It was like 225 bucks. They're all special zebra print and stuff. These things can be expensive. These are pretty basic. Don't get me wrong. They're still 30, 40 bucks. And we got some Uggs tags. Nice. Once again, I like units where everything's organized, well labeled, and this does not look like shoes. It's a sheet. Oh, sheet. What is this? What is this? I got Harold coming over. It's a good thing. We might just sell that to him. We get a pair of, uh, looks like it might be Nine West. Non shoes. What is this right here? Towels. I thought it was going to be something inspirational. Some words of wisdom for us. Nine West. Nice. Not very good brand. Not very good brand. Oh. Look at that. Do my eyes deceive me? C H A N E L. Chanel. Ooh, look at those. That's a very good brand right there. That's a very good brand. We was wanting Chanel. We wanted Hermes or Birkin really, but we've been hoping for this whole time. But right there, nice. Not even the right box lid. Anything in here? I wonder what those are worth. I wonder what those are worth. This right here, I don't, I don't, I don't care what it is. It's, I mean, it's, and it's like a minimum of hundred bucks. I, I know I'm gonna get like people gonna be like, pirate, you're an idiot. Those are really a lot more than a hundred bucks. But anytime you see the word Chanel, that's most likely, I'm hoping a couple hundred dollars. In traditional fashion, we must make a thumbnail somehow out of all these. Okay, hold on. We're 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 struggling here. We're struggling. Let's go. Let's mix it up here a little bit. Because it's what we. This is what you guys think is funny doing these thumbnails and this is the awkward stuff I have to do to make a good thumbnail and I gotta be like ah or hold on we gotta take our glasses off let's go like this like that oh our glasses fell this is there went my Ray-Bans this is ridiculous let's let's see if we can adjust the camera Look at that. Make it like, ooh, can we do it? Can we, can we get everything in here just so much like that and be like, let's try turning the camera. Okay, now, now that we got this, because the words were backwards, um, welcome to the land of thumbnail making by the Storage Auction Pirate. Everything you never wanted to do when making a thumbnail. You learn how to do it here. That's the, the BD, that's the kind of teacher I am. I show you what not to do so you know how to do it better. I don't even know how to do this. I'm really, like, it's just ridiculous. Just because I'm a, I'm a great sport and a, it's all in the f f fair nature of thumbnails, we gotta try some other ones, so. This is so ridiculous. I'm gonna keep doing this though, I think it's funny.